Okay, I'd like to thank you all for coming and agreeing to negotiate. Ah, Eki des Virfi. Sith meningen er of metin. Or bless his food that it may make us strong warriors. Amen. Hey, wait. My priests are about to say a prayer. But I just did pray. Why do you Saxons insist on making a ceremony out of everything? It's stupid. Of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. What, do you not have priests that sing among your halls? Thoth er eki svo slamt. All right, and now to business and negotiations. We have an opportunity that could work for us both. I've heard that you two, Uba and Ragnar Ragnarsson, seek revenge for your father, and I wish to see that the false king Ayla is deposed. Perhaps we could come to a deal with Osbert, and I will see that many of your own may come and work on my land and farm. As I heard, that is what your father's dream was, Uba. My family is one of honor, and if I can build your alliance with Osbert, then perhaps we can come to a mutual advantage. This land will remain under Osbert's rule, but a generous trade agreement will be given to the Danes and the Northmen, which could help you. I understand well. Osbert, the king of Northumbria, is my friend, and I intend to restore him to the throne, as well as avenging the death of Ragnar, my dear ally who helped save my people from starvation. Unfortunately, yes. It is what honor demands as I have pledged my allegiance to Osbert. But I would surrender to you. You could do with me as you wish if you had defeated me. But no matter what the cost, would you spare my people? All right, just send me back Uhtred's body so that I may carry it home to Bidenba so that his father may give him a proper funeral. It's a bit late for that. We already beheaded him and burnt his body, except for the head. And as a matter of fact, even the pagans among my men were disgusted, seeing as how he threatened us during negotiations. <laughs> 